Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Jesse and Fran Bullard began muscadine farming in 1999 after Jesse read a magazine article. He just loves to read, and he reads. He loves farming and things, and so he. Read about it in the Carolina country. Did you? And uh, decided it would be a way to, to make money. The Bullards handpick three acres of muscadines every September through early October. Roll it under, Jesse. It's a lot of vines, all right. I stay up late. I get up early. I work a lot. <laughs> One acre of muscadine vines can yield a few tons of fruit. You want to pick the ones that are nice and ready, ripe, kind of dull on the finish. That's nice, ready, and ripe. This right is there. ready to go. And taste kind of, one. Would you like to taste I one? I definitely try one. We don't spray them, so. Uh, yeah, this particular vineyard has never had any pesticides or herbicides used um, since its establishment in 1999. Dad went totally. Um, organic, even though we don't have an organic certification, uh, there has never been any use. Every part of this grape can be used. The skin, the seeds, the pulp, and so I think Fresh Market, now that people are learning how to eat the grape, I think it's all about exposure and it's a cultural piece. The Bullards are helping fill demand through retail sales and by allowing customers to pick grapes fresh off their Cumberland County farm. We thought going into it is that this would be really romantic. I think people think about vineyards as this great romantic storybook thing. Um, muscadine farming is truly farming. Okay, Dad, you ready? But there is a storybook aspect to the Bullards and their muscadines. Jesse suffered a stroke two months before we met, and just as his muscadines were needing attention, Fran and the children nursed Jesse and those grapes until this year's harvest. When we started to see the grapes coming out and then Dad had his illness, Mom has been out here every day um, picking, packing, delivering. I mean, she is the operation right now. Dad's the brains behind the operation. Mom right now is the brawn. We love our family, and family's important to us. So, And uh, she and her husband have been just great, especially through Jesse's illness, you know. So you Enjoy it, enjoy what you do. What does it mean to see him out here eight weeks later? Oh, a lot. because we didn't know if he would be. And so to see him out here right now, that means more to me than any money that these grapes could bring in this year or any year to come. So it's tremendous to have them both back and uh, working as hard as they've always worked. Jesse's back with his muscadines and back being the boss. Just to see him going up and down in the vineyard and making good selections and driving the gator again and, and being the guy who's in charge of keeping us all together. Um, you asked earlier what kind of boss he is. He's a tough boss. He's a fair boss. Jesse will help guide a planned expansion of the farm's muscadine operation. For us, the small is better is the approach that we've taken. Uh, we've started small. Uh, we're putting in two additional acres in March of 2008. That will bring the Bullard's Muscadine Vineyard to five acres and reflect more growth for muscadines in North Carolina.